You are live, sir. You are live, sir. Yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, good evening. Good evening, everyone, everyone in the studio. In the studio. You're all welcome You're all to welcome RMT. To RMT. Where it is sizzling hot. Sizzling hot. Interactive, interactive and transforming. And, transforming. Yeah. and on this and episode, these episodes, by the special grace of God tonight, I have with me in the studio, me in the studio Dr. Femi Samuel, Dr. Femi Samuel, who will be my co host, my co host, uh, Mr. Uh, nee. Mr. Nee. and also Mama T. Also Mama T. Good evening, sir. Good evening, you are welcome. I hope you had a fruitful week. Yes. Yes. And good evening, our viewers. Good to have you here. Good evening, ma. Good evening, ma. Good evening, Dr. Samuel. Dr. Samuel. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. And then, Mr. Nee. Mr. Lee. Now welcome now on this welcome special program. This special program. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, tonight. Yeah, tonight. We will also have a special we'll guest a special that will be joining us very, very soon. Very soon. And that is in the person of Mrs. Junior. She's a special guest, on this, a special guest on this program tonight. The episode we are going the to be looking at tonight. It's a very interesting one. It's a very interesting one. That I know some couples will embrace. Some couples well, others will have one reason or the other to say no for me. I will not be doing this. No, for me, I will not be doing this. And that is we are looking at joint accounts. We are looking at couples. joint accounts between couples. So tonight, so tonight, my cohort, my cohort will be telling us what will be telling a joint account is. A joint account is. We are going to be looking at the pros and cons accounts, accounts of joint accounts, of joint accounts, the benefits in it, the benefits in it, and then and if at all, in our all, view, we also know our view, we also some ad, some disadvantages, some disadvantages. We would uh, be sharing would, this, uh, this, uh, sharing this on this program tonight. Very quickly, while we wait, for our, quickly, while guest, we wait for our special guest, I would want to I would just uh, mention vital, vital points here tonight. Here tonight. To check, to check, and then put control, control on our expenses. If I may also add your What's your view What's about, your view about joint account between couples? Dr. Femi Samuel. Dr. Femi Samuel. Sir, please, can we have your view about joint accounts? Make this house to know that before a joint account can be wrong, both parties must be. But we discover these days that sometimes when we agree, we agree again in some situation to disagree. Now, what happens in a situation when we have couple having disagreements, and especially over how this joint account? Uh, like, uh, like uh, Dr. Femi Dr. Samuel Femi said, Samuel said that, that for us that to for us ever to think of a joint account, there will be need for agreement. But like I was saying, that we but could like agree. Saying, that we and could agree. sometimes along the line, we disagree. The line, now, if we disagree, now, if we disagree, what happens, what happens in the event of disagreement? What are you doing? Dr. Femi Samuel. Dr. Femi Samuel. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Another very vital point that you have raised here 
is that of course we can disagree we could have we could get have account. Get account. and of course even over all of over this fragmented joint account, 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 account there could be disagreement, could be disagreement. But, don't but don't let us dwell so much on so agreement because we have heard that, that whenever there is a disagreement, is a disagreement i can put a hold on it so that, so that every aspect of the head will not suffer or rather another aspect of the whole will not suffer okay okay uh uh, for me, for me, I believe, I so, believe much so much in joint accounts, joint accounts. and I also believe I also that believe if the agreement is there, there, it should be able to run successfully. Run successfully. So, to this so, effect, to this I effect, would I want us to want emphasize, to more emphasize more on the advantages of joint accounts. Maybe, for example, Maybe, for taking example, the aspect of the children education account. What are the, what advantages, are the advantages of running of a joint children education acknowledgement? And, and to this question, I would like to understand me to let us know, let us know what advantages that we have, the benefits, the benefits that we can that gain we can from gain running children education a joint account. Please, Mr. Please, Nee, if, Mr. You are here, if you are here, can you stand me? Yes, sir. You have just let us know that running a joint account, especially children education account, is having a plan for our children education. Having a plan for our children education so that the cases of parents running up and down when it is time to pay school fees will no longer be there. And also the children will have confidence in their parents then when it comes to the time of a school, school, school fees, surely their parents, they are always ready and um, they will not be disappointed. Thank you very much. That's a very vital one. Uh, another thing that is also coming to my mind now is, okay, we have agreed to run a joint account. What percentage of our income should be going into this because i know that especially i know that from where most of us come from we believe that the husband is the head of the home and as such major aspect of the home front should be championed by the husband so if you want to look at it from this angle i would want to ask this one will be thrown open. What percentage of our income, I'm talking of the husband and the wife now, should go into this joint account that we are talking about? Um, I think uh, Mama T can also answer this question. Mama, thank you very, thank you very much, sir. Just like we said at the beginning of this uh, program, that yes it is good to run a joint account but somewhere along the line there could be disagreements and mr Nee has just mentioned that in the case of salary stoppage of one of the parties if by one you know forwarding into the joint account and the other not being able to do so by reason of put a if it's a good one let's look at the aspect of projects I believe so much that honing projects, honing landed properties, honing houses is very good, especially in this our time. Because we all know that you know landed properties, houses, they appreciate a lot. And of course, in the long run, the, the family stand a lot to gain from this. It's an asset that we can leave even for our children. Now, knowing fully well that running a project, a joint account to secure this type of property is good. Please, I would uh, want us again, just encourage uh, our viewers 
that even in the event of challenges, just like we rightly mentioned the other time, it shouldn't be a thing to discontinue permanently. It shouldn't be a thing to discontinue permanently. So please, Dr. Femi Samuel, just one more time, I would like you to, you know, emphasize on the advantages, on the advantages, especially in the area of running a project joint account, which of course in the long run, it's beneficial to the present family and for the family that will come up from our family. Please, Dr. Samuel, if you are still on, on board, can you just help us to again, you know, encourage our viewers? Thank you very much, sir. Mrs. Binu, you are welcome, ma. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, doctor. You have really opened our eyes. The female couple and the male in the couple. Uh, we have been told it allows for openness. That's a very vital one. And then on our spending habits, you know, it really does a lot of good. Um, while uh, Dr. Femi Samuel was, you know, talking, Mrs. Binuyo also came around. So please, uh, my co-host, can we can together we welcome together. Mrs. Binuyo to the platform? Welcome, Mrs. Binuyo. Good to have you. Thank you very Thank much. You very it's much. my pleasure Thank being you. here. Yeah. Welcome, uh. Welcome, uh. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, uh, Mrs. Binuyo. Thank you. It's so nice much. having you around. I was Thank told you are an expert in uh expert in uh joint properties. I want to learn from you, ma. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice, nice especially it's when nice there is nice agreement nice between nice. the two couples. You know, there are so many advantages, although I've, uh, um, because I was not around, I don't really know how many of the advantages you've discussed about before my joining the meeting. But that notwithstanding, I know there are so many benefits in couples having joint accounts, one of which is the fact that it will um, encourage, encourage checks and balances in spending, um, in spending the family's um, finance, you know. And um, also, it helps in um, planning for the children, you know, especially children's education fund and the um, welfare of the children and then um, so many other things like that. So that not, um, that being as it's made, there are also other disadvantages, you know? One of which I will point out this particular one. Whenever couples want to open um, accounts now or, or um, property, the female should should avoid the account title just being Mr. and Mrs. Lagbaja. It should be Mr. Lagbaja, Mrs. Okay, let me just put it this way. Mr. Um, um, Adekule Jacob and Mrs. Ademumi Jacob. So that other woman should be there. Are we? Are you with me? Yes, yes, Hello. yes, yes. Hello. You're making okay. a vital point, ma. Yes, okay. yes, I, I agree with the you, ma. Okay, the woman's first name also should be there because of tomorrow. <laughs> you understand? Because of tomorrow, because anything might happen. What if the woman ah. dies? Can come to our father's party. Mm -hmm. What if they, they divorce? Do you understand? If another woman Just comes in, do you understand? 
there wouldn't even be any need of um, change of whatever. The person will just carry on. <laughs> if if the account title were to be Mr. and Mrs. Lagbaja, she is Mrs. Lagbaja for crying out loud. It, it should be Mr. Adewumi Jacob, Mrs. Uh, Mr. What name did I give the man? You know, the man's first name and his surname, woman's first name and her surname. Do you understand? So that's my stand on having joint account or joint property. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Binuyo. Mrs. Binuyo I just let us know that in running a joint account between couple, it is very important that the title of the account in terms of the name should be well defined. Upon somewhere on the line, and you know, we have many tribes in this our country, especially in the eastern part of our nation, where a mouth is not given to the woman. So in running a joint account, it will just be very easy for the family of the man, especially, to take over whatever, God forbid, if the wife should pass on, to easily take over property. Or rather, I mean, if the husband should pass on, it will be very easy for the extended family to come around and just take over the entire family. And the woman will not be left with nothing. I don't know. Children. Even the children, they can even pack the children and leave her alone. To say it's our brother's property. The children is our brother's property. Whatever he has left in terms of landed property and not the likes of them, they will just pack on. Oh, and the woman to... may not be able to you know, fight this, even in the law court, because of the fact of the name of the accounts. Okay, having said that, maybe, again, we should look at some other aspects of why we should not, or rather, take caution in opening a joint account. Can uh, Mr. Nee also say some aspect of steps that we should take concerning the opening of a joint account between couples. Thank you to do. But like uh, Mr. Nia has said, we should sit down and, you know, come up with how to run this account. Very important. Come up with how to run the account so that they are not be any problem there will not be any problem mama t hello sir do you also have anything also to have say anything concerning to say this before, before we round up i believe very much is that doing because of our time we will have to draw this program to a close but we have also you know highlighted some important aspects which of course even in the course of this uh, discussion we have mentioned the joint account must be well defined and um, for the fact that we also have different spending habits we may as well run a separate individual account alongside that's a very vital one so that the other individual separate account can take care of some other needs on a final note uh, do we still have for on the final notes, uh, Dr. Femi, can we one more time hear your submission on this episode? Not be a do or die a fear thing. Let us take note of that word. Although it is very good, but if you know it will not work for your family, please, as much as possible, to keep happiness in our marriages, let us do away with joint account but if it will work if there is agreement please go ahead it has a lot of uh, advantages thank you very much everyone my co-host for doing justice to this program i want to say to everyone that will be privileged to listen to this program uh is a weekly program another episode we also be coming up by the special grace of God next week. Please stay 
glued to RMT, where it is seasoning hot, interactive, interactive and, uh, transforming. and transforming. Thank you very much. Thank Good you. night, Good night. Everyone. everyone. Thank you, Pastor. Bye. Bye. Bye.